gypsies okay so today is the day that I'm gonna do my get ready with me and hair color so that's gonna be me putting my makeup on and if you saw my video the other day from the Dollar Tree you know that I'm gonna be using all Dollar Tree products and I'm gonna color my hair so the first things first I've got to color my hair I just woke up about not that long ago <laughs> about 30 minutes ago i'm still working on my morning coffee so uh, what i'm going to do is find me a different shirt to put on and set up my camera in the bathroom i'm going to show you what hair color i use and i'm going to go ahead and put some of it on um i've got to comb this rat's nest out but um yeah so i will be right back in the bathroom here in just a moment Okay, guys, so got me an old shirt on. First thing I'm going to do is comb all the tangles out of my hair, and then I want to show you the color of hair coloring I've got, which I'm pretty darn excited about. I love using a new hair color. Um, I love coloring my hair because it just, like, it makes your hair feel so good, like, afterwards, and then there's no roots. Can you guys see these ridiculous roots? ew like ew who wants roots and then i'm excited to do my makeup with all dollar tree products see how that goes which i'm sure will be fun all right i think that's about it i've been losing more hair lately i don't know what the deal is but if i would just take my vitamins regularly i might get avoid that all right my hair is a hot mess and i look like kermit the frog turned inside out right now so just overlook me at this point all right let me show you guys the hair coloring i got look at that isn't that just fabulous so it is called dark intense violet and i'm looking forward to rocking this color so i did get two boxes because my hair is starting to get longer and it is pretty thick and i would rather have too much than not enough this is more expensive than the hair color i normally buy but that day they were out of my color so i'm like well let me get something else so when i saw this color i'm like yep that's the one so what i'm going to do is go ahead and put these together really fast <clears throat> got your what is this cream developer this is the best stuff. Wait a minute. Let me see. What is this? Nourishing color cream. And after color mask treatment. Hmm. I don't remember that little bottle. And then you have your, I guess it's an avocado oil. Like, I don't even know. I know it's cool. Avocado, olive, and shea oil. So basically what we're going to do is i know you can't see this process but just bear with me here i'm trying not to make this video super 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 duper long um so i'm not going to show you me call actually coloring putting the coloring on um but that's you know that's pretty simple i'm trying to see how long i have to leave it on got my handy dandy gloves and that's not a sign i can read let's see here 25 minutes, which is the norm. So basically all we have to do is the norm as well. So I'm going to put those on in a minute. First thing you got to do, well, huh, they used to make it where you had to snip the cap off. Now you just twist it off. Cool. And then I got to squeeze all of this into this. So let's give this a whirl. We'll pause it while I get these ready. All right, guys. So I got both bottles all together. Now I just have to shake a little bit. And I decided I'm just going to put one glove on this hand right here. 
uh, for this just for a minute so I can start the hair coloring process because I'm just using this hand for the bottle so and then I'll stop it and continue and finish it all up so I'll show you how I, I do the process shaking it up is so important <laughs> all right so Mm, okay, so let me get my glove on. All right, these gloves feel better um, quality than the ones I normally have. As, you know, as far as a plastic glove can feel good quality, right? Okay, so basically whenever I do my hair coloring, I just start from the front and work to the back. Like, and I always make sure I get the front really good because I pull my hair back a lot and I do not need any spots that I miss and I won't have any especially having two uh, bottles of this hair coloring so I always start right here with my roots in the front all the way around I've got big day planned. I hope I get everything in. I'll tell you about it while I'm putting my makeup on. Okay. Um, let's see. Kind of easier to look in the mirror than the camera. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's today's the Saturday. It is Saturday today. I'm planning on well. See, I'm already trying to jump ahead. I'm not going to. I've always wanted to do my eyebrows, but I've always heard, no, don't do your eyebrows. I always thought that if you're as careful enough, you could, though, but I just never have. Never have. I know a lot of people do. All right, I'm just gonna finish this up, guys. Get my other glove on and I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, guys, it's all covered. Getting me a wipe to get it all, it's kind of on my arms and stuff and my face. So I need to get that off before it stains for the day. And I go around looking like Craven's twin sister because does it not look orange? I know it always kind of does it first. But there's a lot on there. But look at that. It's really, it's really on there. All right. So I don't want to wipe too much off. Just make sure I don't have it on my ears and all that fun stuff. So 25 minutes, I'll be back in about 20 minutes to show you guys how it's looking. Hopefully it will not look orange. Hopefully it'll look dark and I'll be like, oh my gosh, you know, because that's how we do. We're like, oh my gosh, got it on my shirt, which this is a hair color and shirt now anyway, especially after today. <laughs> Uh, this is the first time I've ever like got it in side my ear. It felt like somebody put an eardrop in. I'm like, did I just get hair coloring in my ear? And heck yes, I did. So I had to get a Q-tip really fast. Hopefully I didn't push it back in there. I don't know. All right, guys. So I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, guys, so it's almost time to rinse it out. Um, like, I don't feel like it has, like, anything, any color to do with the color on the box. Like, I feel like this is, like, a bright red. I don't know. Maybe it'll turn out different, but I felt like that the color on the box was, that this was going to turn, it was going to look almost black because that color on the box hold on let's let me go in there just hold on a minute bear with me 
All right, let me get the box. All right. See, this should be a different color, I feel like. I don't know. Like, what's going on here? Kind of nervous because I really wasn't wanting bozo colored hair. I was wanting purplish dark. Not bozo. I don't know, guys. I'm getting ready to get in the shower, but I don't have a good feeling about this. I don't know. Okay, I'll be out in a minute, and then I'll get my makeup on, and then we're, we're going to see what the true color is, which I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, just got out of the shower, rinsed all the coloring out, and I have a little bit of moisturizer on my face. So, like I told you guys, I have all Dollar Tree products to do my makeup with today. I haven't even opened them, so I can kind of show you guys and let y'all know exactly what I'm using. So, I got, I tried to get all products like LA colors, like most people can get, you know, I know a lot of people can't get the hard candy and stuff. So I stuck with all products that I feel like you can get if you want to. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do my found. No, I'm going to do my, um, hold on. Let me find it. Primer. Primer first. Let's see. And the primer I got was this right here. And this is an LA colors. This is Soothing Face Primer. Um, it minimizes pores, corrects dullness, brightens your complexion, neutralizes dark spots, and neutralizes redness. So it sounds like this stuff really does good. It's in the color peach. So I just felt like that would be a good primer for me. So I'm just going to open this up. And with my primer, I usually just use my fingers to put it on just like a little bit, just like I'll put my moisturizer on. So let's just see. All right. I'm going to use this about that much right there and just put it all over my face, including my eyelids, since I don't have any regular um, eye primer. This is going to have to work. Oh, one, one thing I needed to get, honestly, was my big hand mirror because I'm going to need that. So I'm going to have to pause this here in a second. Let me get this rubbed in really good. Eyelids. Mm, you know what? I'm not minding this primer at all. I feel like it's doing a pretty good job. Ah. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Okay, I was trying to wipe it off a little bit because every time I use it, like, it gets the makeup all over it. So, I was trying to make it look not quite as bad. All right, and then so I can kind of see, yeah, because I've got to see, i got to see a little bit closer. All right, so that's a nice primer. Dang, I almost don't need foundation after that primer. Okay, <laughs> so for the foundation, number one, I got this little blender sponge and this is the sassy and chic brand you can probably all find this brand sassy and chic that is the dollar tree brand basically and then i got this right here so this is a new color i've seen this at dollar tree for a long time this is actually a dollar tree brand as well you can always tell by looking like on the back right here. It's always the same font and the same writing. Sometimes it says Greenbrier, sometimes it says something else, but that's still a Greenbrier company. You can just kind of tell by looking at it. So the color I got is in the color, does it even say? Yeah, light one. So I'm hoping that should be good. So let's see, light one. So what I'm going to do is just, oh, it's sealed like that too. So that's a good thing. Double sealed is always a good thing, right? If I can get it off, that'd be an even better thing. There it comes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just put about that much on my blender sponge and start tapping all of the big areas first. Okay. 
Oh, that light, that light is bright. <laughs> so today I'm planning on doing another vlog, even though this is a vlog. Get ready with me with all Dollar Tree products and new hair color. That hair color, oh lordy, I don't know. I'm actually going to be leaving when I'm done here and going to do another vlog. Which I'm going to be going to um, three different Dollar Trees. Maybe two, I don't know. It's according to how much time I have. I'm hoping to get out of here by 12. It's 11.51 now. I shouldn't have any trouble with that. We'll see. All right, guys. So I have to look in my mirror for a second. This blender sponge is a little bit more squishy than the one I'm used to. But it feels good. And I don't, I don't guess that really matters how squishy your blender sponge is, right? So I still got like the turkey neck, but what can I expect? Like I'm turning 54 next month and you know, you have to expect these things whenever you're aging, right? <laughs> Absolutely you do. Okay. There's the foundation. I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, once I get everything else on, like, I just feel like it is a little shiny, but it, I think it probably usually is anyway, because, you know, you got to go in with other things. So next I do my blush, and this is the color that I got. This is an LA Colors. And I was looking for the more pinkier blush just because it's like springy summertime. Um, but this one is in the color Toast, which probably would be a good bronzing effect. Now, I did not get any brushes because I'm like, it came with a brush. Why get a brush? You know, sometimes you just, you know, you just may not need a brush when you think you do. So we're going to go with the brush that came with it. And it does have a little plastic thing on the tip or oh, I love it. Yeah. So I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going, going for it. This is a really pretty blush. It has like a little sparkle to it. Do you see that? I like that. So I'm just going to go in. Okay. And now I did have a blush brush in my hand, but I'm like, well, I'm just going to do like minimal as far as buying the stuff since I already have blush brushes and stuff, but I'm not using it. And this, the, some of the bristles I see is kind of falling out a little bit. I saw one at least. Maybe two. Maybe three. I don't know. They're, yeah, they're, they're kind of falling out. So that's not good. So I would recommend, like, even though the blush is looking good, to invest in maybe a blush brush if you don't have one. I love blush brushes. I just think they're great. Okay, so there's the blush. Next thing I do is my powder, and the only powder that they had was, um, where is it? It has to be in here. Oh, here it is. Um, in the color beige. So I'm hoping that color is going to be okay. Basically, I use powder to take away any of the, um, oh, I'm sorry. to take away any shine and to actually blend the blush. That is my main reasons for powder. So that color. So and it comes with this little pretty thin little sponge. So I'm gonna go in and get some on here and just try to minimize some of the shine and to get the blush kind of blended a little bit. I don't want to go in with too much of this because I don't want it to look like I have a mask on, you know. This color is actually not too bad. It's blending nicely. Now, 
The sponge though is kind of, you know, not the best sponge in the world. Okay, there we go. Next, eyebrows. Now I did not um, bring my twe tweezers or anything. I haven't tweezed, so I usually try to tweeze a little bit every day that way you kind of stay on top of your eyebrow shape whenever you're putting your eyebrow liner or whatever you use on you can kind of see if there's any stray hairs that need to go um so that's normally why i you know pluck a little bit every day just to keep my shape but this is the eyebrow pencil that i got this is the la colors um in dark blonde now i got this color because the only other color they had was dark brown and I would rather have one that's a little bit too light than one that's a little bit too dark. So I got that one. And I could always go over a couple of coats with this, you know. So let's just see. There's what it looks like. And it looks very light. But let's see. I think it's going to be fine. Basically, I do an outline of my whole brow first, and then I fill it in. Look at that. My daughter just stopped by with Jack to get dressed to go yard selling. I said, man, I wish I would have knew that because I would have rather went yard selling and vlogging rather than to Dollar Trees and vlogging and actually had somebody to go with and stuff. But she said it was a spur of the moment, but I already have plans and... I'm just wanting to stick to my plans so okay so that will absolutely work it took me a little extra longer because I did have to have to put a couple extra little uh, layers all right let me get this one really fast There's kind of something nice about having just one of every product. You know, you already know what you're going to be using. And like, because I have bags of eyeliner pencils, bags of lipsticks and lip liners and stuff, bags of like blush and all that stuff. And I always have to decide every day, you know, what's it going to be today? So it's nice just having one. And like, this is it. This is what you're using today, whether you like it or not. Just kind of digging it. All right. Now, this one looks a little weird, but I'll show you how I'm going to fix that. At the end of this is a little brush. You see that? That's where that is good for. Like, if you get, like, too much in one area, you just want to blend it a little bit. I like the little brush for that. Okay, so there is the eyebrows. Could be a little darker, but you know, like I said, too light is better than too dark. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow. So, <coughs> let me take a gander here. I'm getting out all my goodies. All right, all oh, that's trash. Let me get this trash in here. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I opened this eyeshadow on my video yesterday just so I could show you guys which one I was going to be using. It is the LA Colors, and this is the palette that I picked out. I thought I had a lot of pretty colors. It does have your makeup sponge in here, so your little spongy thing. But there's the colors, and let's see. I think I'm going to go in with a couple of different colors. Whew, what should I wear? Okay, guys. Um, I think I'm going to use these two colors right here. Maybe a little bit of that one. I'm not sure, but mainly these two. I'm going to go in with this darker, kind of a slate blue. Not really a blue. As you can see, it looks pretty dark, but you can see a blue in there. So I'm going to go in with that on my crease. So let's see. Hopefully this shadow blends really good. So I'm just going to go in right on my crease. Okay, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take that purplish looking color and go like halfway over. Just like that. Let me get a little more. Make it a pronounced color. And same thing over here. <clears throat> Okay, so next thing I need to do is go under my eyes. Something in my eye. So I think I'm going to use that slate blue because I kind of like that color. I don't know. I think I'm going to go in with the slate blue and a little bit of this. Just to give it a little more of a pop of color under the eye. Yeah. Okay, other side. I'm trying to get up here where you guys can actually see me. Okay, so there's that. Now, first thing I want to do is turn this brush around and use this white color right here. And I'm going to use that to blend the color. And I'm going to show you. Like, starting with this corner, I'm just going to blend all the way over so it don't look so, you know, fake. You want it to be blended rather than like, you know, kind of a bold looking line there. And it blended pretty good. You know, it could be a little better, but it still blended pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Starting with the inner corner and going up and over. I need more. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so beautiful today. Wowzer. All right, now I'm going to take some of that white and go toward this inner corner. But then I'm going to show you guys like something, like something else I got. And I'm hoping that it works okay. Now, since this is not the best shadow in the world, sometimes you might have what looks like a little streaky, streaky streak where it, you know, just doesn't go on all that great. You can try to go over it with a little bit of white, you know, just to kind of play it down. Okay, so that is what I'm going to go with. Let 
me do a little bit more. I am so aggravated because I didn't get to go yard selling. Man, I love going yard selling. Okay, guys. So now I got this right here. And this is going to be number one. There wasn't any uh, uh, highlighter. I love highlighter. I don't know if this is going to be able to, to substitute a highlighter, but this will definitely be good for the inner corner. I've never used this. This is a loose eyeshadow in the color Sunshine. Let's open it up. It is LA Colors, and I'm hoping this is going to be good for the inner corner and maybe a little bit of highlight. So let's just see. I don't even know, like, so take the lid off and then... Oh, okay. All right. So it looks like that. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this bad boy back out, this little sponge. And and find the cleanest side, which is going to be that one. And I'm going to tap some of this on the back of my hand just because it looks like it's it could possibly go everywhere and i don't want that so i'm going to use this and dab it on there and apply it with this instead of that brush now we'll see i'm going to need more all right This stuff is wild. Huh. I don't know. Let me try to dump a little out in the lid. Will that work? Yeah. Okay, so I've dumped some out in the lid. So I'm going to try to use it like that. Okay. I can get down with this. I really do need my mirror, though. <laughs> I'll end up looking like Big Bird or something. Okay. Yeah, I can get down with this color. I like that inner corner look. Nice. Okay, so I like this. I like this. All right. Let me fix this side a bit. nice and sunshiny or what i like to call gold it just looks like a really pretty gold inner inner gold inner liner inner corner so i like it all right so now i said i'd like to use a little as some highlighter i don't know heck yes totally I don't know how, um, I'm going to kind of just dump a little bit on my hand here and just apply it with my fingers, but I don't want a ton. I just want enough, you know what I'm saying? Okay, little bit here and here. And last but not least, okay, there's that. That was interesting. Okay, not bad, like not bad. Not the best, but not, not bad. I, mean, I think you can get a really good look out of Dollar Tree makeup. Okay, there's that. Next, I want to go ahead and go in before I do my liners, go in on some lipstick. And I got this right here. This is LA Colors. This is in the color Pink Satin, which I'm kind of iffy about. I don't like a real pink, bubblegum pink lips, lipstick, but this looks pretty fuchsia. And it also says you can use this as a lipstick, blush, or eyeshadow, which I think is interesting. So we are going to use it for a lipstick. <clears throat> Very pretty color. Okay, let's go for it. Ah, oh, interesting.
interesting. It's a very sheer. Okay. And the color is not bad either. I can see how you could use this for a blush and eyeshadow. I was kind of wondering, like, if it's real, you know, dark like that. I was kind of wondering, but you could totally use this for a blush. It takes a couple coats to get a good shade. I'm kind of liking the color though. It's not too much, you know, it's not too overpowering. Kind of a subtle, almost natural color to, to lips. So yes. Okay. Next we have the lower liner. Let me try to get all this glitter stuff off of me. So the lower liner that I got is this one right here. This is an LA color auto liner. It's the kind you roll up. This is in the color black. It says it's smudge proof. It says there's smooth application. We're getting ready to test it and see if it's smooth application or not because I've always wondered. I'm just going to get out. I'm going to crank my music and roll my windows down and just have a nice day. It's going to be great. All right. So this is what we've got. Roll it up like that. So this is what I, how I do my lower. I always just use my pinky and pull them down and get that line right there. Yeah, this is not the best eyeliner, but... In a pinch, if I didn't have any makeup, it would totally be just fine. Just like that. Okay. Next. If you guys try out any of these products, let me know. I'm curious. Okay. So there's the lower lids. Not bad. Okay, now the upper and the wing. That's what I'm most nervous about with this. This is LA Colors Eye Marker. And to do my wing, I normally have to have the felt tip and this one is a slim felt tip it says <coughs> also says it's smudge proof and this one is in the color brown so i've been using brown here late lately anyway brown does not look quite as dramatic but it's still a good color so let's just see Wow, it's going to be a good day for yard sale because it's going to be like in the 80s. I'm just still ticked about that, ain't I? I'm just going to complain about it the whole time. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. All right, so when I say the felt tip, there's what I'm talking about. So I'm nervous. Let's do this. All right, I'm going to try to get close. All right. Mm. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Um... It looks wet like when you put it on. I guess it's going to have to kind of dry, hopefully. But, I mean, it could be better, but it could be worse, too. 
right now getting the other one to look like that one is the trick <sighs> It's not super smooth, but it does the trick. I don't need to talk while I'm doing this. Just saying. I think I like this side better. Anyway. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Next we have the um, mascara. LA Colors, baby. LA Colors Bold Mascara Lash Defining Brush in the color Very Black. I love the pink and black tube. So I, I typically have not had very much success with LA Colors Mascara, um, but since I wear false lashes, which I do have here as well, um, this is going to be fun because I just really put a little bit on the top, you know, just to kind of blend up in those, soft, those false lashes. The bottom is like the main area, so um, hopefully this will be good. Okay. Here's what the brush looks like. That pink reminds me of Great Lash. You guys remember that? All right. I kind of dig that highlighter. Like, I feel like it did its job. They need to put eyeshadow slash highlighter on there. Yeah, this is not the best. It's kind of hard to hold this little tiny lid, too. Not that great, but it's going to have to work. All right, let's do the other side. Okay. Oh, I poked the lid. I poked the eyeball. That always hurts so bad. Like that has to be the most sensitive place on your whole body. Now my other vlog. I'll probably uh, add a little different lipstick that's a little brighter. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like this is really, like, low-key. All right. Oh, my eyeball. It hurts. Okay, so next, what I have is these lashes, this lash glue, both Dollar Tree. They're not Dollar Tree brand, but they're Ioni brand, and I'm pretty sure most Dollar Trees have these. So, we're going to go ahead and open the glue first. And let me just say, guys, <laughs> this is funny, but every time I open a new pack of lashes or lash glue, they always have these little cards in them. These cards are perfect for bookmarks. I always save them because look how sparkly and pretty they are. Perfect for bookmarks. So, I have two or three laying over here, which I need to stick in books. Okay, and then the glue, there's that, okay, 
Now then, these are Ioni Wispy Dramatics. These are definitely reusable, guys. You can get 20 uses out of these if you try, honestly. And then I'll, here's my other bookmark. I always save the packaging because I put it in at nighttime whenever I take off my lashes. I find the empty one and I know which one it's from. Now, typically I do not trim these, but I'm going to go ahead and give these just a little tiny, ouch, trim. My leg is so stiff from sitting there all that time. Ah, hold on. Okay. All right, so let me do this one first. And I'm just going to give her a little, little teeny trim. I'll show you guys. See that? Not that much. All right, so this is going to be for this eye. So what I'm going to do is get this glue glue and I'm going to put it all on all on the little rim or ledge or whatever you call that. Usually that glue is kind of a white color. I can't really see it so I'm hoping it's doing it's 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 not dried out or nothing. And that would be a bummer. It's not dried out. No, it's just kind of clear. Just kind of really clear. Okay. So it has to be on there good, right? So basically <clears throat> how I get my lashes on, super easy. Start, I'm gonna have to use my mirror. Start from uh, close to your lash line as you can get them. Start from the middle. Touch the middle, hold it on there, then touch the outside edge, hold it, and then I do the inner ledge last and hold it for longest. Because that's the one that if anything pops up, it's usually the inner lash ledge. Okay. There's some long lashes. All right. I like those. Okay. Next, I'm going to give this one a little trimmy trim trim. And I trimmed it right from the inner corner. Where'd that go that I trimmed? Laying in the bed. My hubby's going to think of bugs on him later. <laughs> funny. Not funny. Right? Funny, not funny. I'm like, what is that? I'll just plead the fifth, you know? Total innocence. All right, let me get some of this glue on, and then we're going to go blow dry the hair. OMG, I'm nervous. I hope it looks good. There's a new hair product that I've been seeing on TikTok that Walmart has, and it's like this thing, and it has like four different attachments. And gosh, I actually had it in my buggy the other day. Not my buggy my car online and every time like i clicked it to go pay it changed from being the hair thing to a dog bed i'm like what is going on so i didn't feel like it was legit so i just backed out of there slowly but yeah i don't know what was going on but i was wanting to buy it and i probably will before it's over with All right, inner or close to the lash line, okay, in the outer corner, then the inner, and hold. Super easy. Super duper easy. If you're daunted by putting on lashes, um, practice. Like after I did it like three times, I was good. Like I knew how to put on lashes. And like, if you take my advice close to the lash line, stick it in the very center and then hold down, you know, let your glue get just a little bit tacky first as well. So anyway, um, 
there's my makeup. I see my hubby sent me a text. I'm going to check that, and then I'm going to go in there, get everything set up, and we're going to take the towel off and see how it looks. So, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. We're going to see what we got. Ta-da! Oh, OMG. Let's see. There. Let me get my comb. I lose half of it combing it out. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get my spray. <laughs> All right. So, I love this stuff. It's Hask Biotin Boost 5 in 1 Leave in Spray. I always spray my hair before I comb it out. I spray it with this stuff. It's a detangler, it is a heat protectant. It has biotin. So, if you're getting then get this see Daisy. Okay. Comb her. Let's comb her out. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. Okay, and because I discolored it, I'm gonna add a little something else in it before. I blow dry it. I don't feel like I'm losing too much today. Nah, not too bad. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. I don't even know. I haven't used any hair stylers and so long. I don't know where all my stuff is. There's that, but where's my... There. Bear with me, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got my hand right on it. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. 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 So, listen to this. My, um, Revlon dryer, straightener, all-in-one type gig there. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And, but first I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in my hair. <clears throat> Um, this is called Love Oil. Love Oil. It's called, it's by Sexy Hair. It's Healthy Sexy Hair Moisturizing Oil. I'm going to use about four, two, three, four. Since I just col colored, I'm just going to do this. It's all on there. And kind of distribute it pretty evenly. That way nothing looks greasy. But this stuff feels so good and it smells even better. Oh my gosh. This stuff smells amazing. Amazing. Hmm. I'm thinking about just going with a natural wave today. I don't know. I think I will. So I'm going to use a regular blow dryer instead of that one. And then I may not need my straightener. I might just I might just go with the flow. Let me see what I get after I blow dry it. I'm gonna pause it for a second. All right. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and try to go with the curls. And so when I do that, oh, I got too much stuff, guys. Um, I like to use this right here. This is Victoria's Secret Hair Mega Lift Mousse. So I usually go in with about four ish pumps that'll just make my getting ready faster and i'm kind of in a hurry today so i'm just gonna go in with this and then i'm gonna blow dry and try to scrunch it a little bit while i'm blow drying just to see okay i'll be right back I 
out in the sunlight, this color is really going to pop. Definitely not the color on the box. Hold on, I'll, I'll compare the two and show you guys. Okay, can I just say I really do love the color. That love oil that I put in there makes it look like sh extra shiny and half healthy. And the color is really great. Okay, so here's the box. Definitely not the color. If you turn it to the side, these are the different colors. This one probably looks closest to the color that I have. But yeah, so having said that, let me go ahead and fix it for the day. I've decided I'm going to go with super easy, super duper easy hairstyle. I'm not doing the um, bubble hair, although I should because I want to have my windows down today. But I only do my bubble hair like if my hair is like needing wash and I don't want to wash it. So what I'm going to do is take this little tiny brown rubber band so it blends in really good. And let me grab a pick instead. Use this. Um, I'm going to take the middle part right here, up here. Okay, try not to get a two that's kind of tangled right here for some reason. All right, hold on. We have a tangle. Here we get a little bit. I'm just going to have to go with the flow. Get out, tangle. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take it back and put this bad boy in a couple of rounds. Oh, a couple or three rounds. And uh, give it a little lift like that. Okay hair's done for the day. I'm not even worrying about it no more. Okay, guys, I'm going to get dressed. I'll show you what I put on and I'm going to get my jewelry on. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've been getting ready. Um, you probably can't see. Let's see here. I love this shirt. Like, this is one of my favorite shirts for the summer just because it's almost like a tank top, but I don't have to show my, my arms. So, like, I wish all my shirts was like this. I absolutely love it. Um, you can Probably, uh, I don't know, you might can't be able to see my tattoo of my son a little bit back there. But then I have a moon. I don't know if you can see it or not over there. And I found this right here. I remember getting this in one of my uh, subscription boxes, Mindful Souls. It's a little lotus flower. So I think I'm going to try to put this like on my little... If you get too much hair though these things never want to clip that's what i hate about that hold on let me try it again just with a few hairs just get a few hairs right that's all you need okay i think it's gonna stay so a little lotus flower i think that's super cute i got my earrings on necklaces rings Oh, uh oh, missed that one. I need to get a bracelet over here. But I'm going to put my perfume on and I'm getting out of here. This is Prada Candy. And my hubby got me this for um, Valentine's Day. And I love it. It smells so good. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. Get ready with me with the new hair color. I'm not complaining. I like it. So yeah, it is what it is, right? I, I would have to like it, even if I didn't like it, because I'm stuck with it. But I really like it. I know it's going to be really bright out in the sunshine, but I'm really digging it. And now I don't have roots, so that's the best thing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll have another vlog probably tomorrow or the day after of what I'm doing for the rest of the day. 
But until then, thank you guys for watching. Bye.